Gonzo, how nice, but why are you... Uh, Lil, this is uh, Gonzo Gates. He's going to be your nurse. Nurse? Hi. This is my mother-in-law, Lily Townsend. Your mother-in-law? She came in for appendicitis. Which turned out not to be an appendicitis. Oh, well. <laughs> Things are never what they're supposed to be, I suppose. No, no, they're certainly not. Well, I'll take good care of her. You know, you have no sensitivity, Trapper. That's your problem. Oh, that's my problem. Excuse me. Could you tell me which way is 311? Well, 311, that's Mother's room. Mother? Are you Lily Townsend's daughter? Yes. I, I'm Dr. Chambers, a personal physician, just in from Palm Springs. Hello, I'm John McIntyre. Well, her son-in-law. <laughs> oh, your mother and I go way back. I knew her when she still had that law firm in the East. Maybe she feels comfortable having me around. I, I brought her medical records. I understand. I'll see that you get temporary staff privileges. If you would, thank you. So, finally we meet John McIntyre. Lily's mentioned you so often. <laughs> well, we have a lot to talk over. I'll just look in on the patient, and then maybe we can get together and discuss her case. Fine. And tell you what, I'm staying at the Beecham Court. How about the two of you having dinner with me tonight? Well, I'd love to, but I, I have a date, and... Uh... Surgery. I see. Well, maybe later. In my office? Very good. Well, I've got to be running along. Nice meeting you, Dr. Chambers. Thank you. I'll see you later, Donnie. Yeah, don't wait up for me. My surgery may take all night. I'm sure. Oh. Well, this was an unexpected moment. <laughs> I'll look in on the patient. All right, last door on the left. Thank you. Doctor's lounge. Uh, I hate to break it to you, pal, but you can't stay here. Oh, come on, you guys, give me a break. As long as you're a nurse, you can't stay in the doctor's lounge. That's right. You see, Gates, if we let one nurse in here, then we'll have to let all the nurses in here. Pretty soon, there won't be any more room for the doctors. You know how it is, Gons. Rules are rules. Well, that's a dumb rule. The nurse's lounge is all the way down the other end of the hall. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Gates. You will have to go. <sighs> no special favors, a nurse remember? Is a nurse huh? is a nurse. Huh? You told us to treat I you. know, like a nurse. Yeah, it's the tourist season. All the wrong people will be there. <laughs> it's your vacation. You can do what you like. Oh, got to go. The nurse I was telling you about, the gorgeous hunk, he's here. He can't keep his hands off me. <laughs> Goodbye, darling. Give my love to the Baron. Baron, huh? I'm impressed. Don't be. He's a phony. I hate that, don't you? I mean, when people try to be something they're not. Yeah, it takes guts. You're not eating. You didn't eat your breakfast, either. Well, that reminds me of a dreary dinner I once had in Lamu. Well, at least try and get some fluids down you. Yeah? We don't have to put you back on IVs. To tell you the truth, Toots, my tummy's just not up to it. You're running a fever. Yeah. We better run some tests and check it out. I'll look back in on you later. Thank you, nurse. I'll be here. What do we got tonight? Everything. Keep Wiley NPO till the doctor sees him. Road spike to temp at 6 p.m. On antibiotics? Not yet. We just called the doctor for the order. And uh, we're keeping an eye on Mrs. Bowling. She's taking double meals from the card. She doesn't eat. 
She likes the china. Watch her. That's Mrs. Bender. You want to see what she wants? Me? There's nobody else around. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'll take the phone. Why don't you go see what she wants? I've been on my feet all day, too, you know. No, it's not that. It's just... Uh, Mrs. Bender's a little strange around male nurses. Oh, well, a lot of patients are like that around the opposite sex. She'll get used to you. It's all part of being a nurse. She gropes. Like I said, it's all part of being a nurse. Mm. Gates, where is she? Gates? Nurse Gates. Oh, um, just left for room 312. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Looking for Nurse Gates. I'm Gates. Can I help you? That your signature on this chart? Lillian Townsend? Yes, I did. You ordered all these tests? Yes, sir, I did. Since when does a nurse order procedures? Is that something new around here? Well, she's had a persistent uh, fever and... Oh, uh, I can Donald. see that on the chart. Thank you. I just thought that... Uh... You thought? Did you ever think of consulting the doctor before actually ordering tests? Those symptoms could have a dozen other causes. Yes, I know that. And I suggest, if you want to practice medicine, you go to medical school. You've deliberately broken the rules. Now, we're going to look into this, and it could very well cost you your job. What are you talking about? I did what had to be done. What's wrong with that? Wrong had nothing to do with it. You were out of line. I had to do ten choruses of the groveling nurse to stop Chavis from taking your job. You can't fire me. I'm a doctor. Not this week, you're not. Unless you're throwing in the towel. No, I'm not throwing in the towel, but come on. You saw the Townsend chart. With symptoms like that, those tests should have been routine. It is not up to the nurse to make that judgment. What judgment? I was more observant, that's all. I spent more time with her. Chambers comes in for a lousy ten minutes, he marks her chart, and he leaves. I spent the whole day on that shift. I saw the way she responded to the medicine. I saw the way her fever rose steadily. I'm not supposed to have any input or take any initiative. Not unless the doctor asks you. Well, that's hogwash. That's nursing. <sighs> okay, what am I supposed to do? Just keep my mouth shut and wait until he happens to order the right tests? I'm sure he'll order them eventually. You mean when it's his idea? <laughs> Welcome to the wonderful world of nursing. All right, it's getting late. Get back to your rounds. What if we do the test without his authorization? One more time, not without a doctor's signature. And that's what I'll get. And, uh... We have to talk. And not now. Anyway, as Something I Something damp around here? I haven't been able to get off at a decent hour. Mildew, maybe? For the last couple of nights. Right. Mm-hmm. I know, I know. Does it bite? Do you mind? Sorry. Yeah, what? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, Monica. Monica? Said that someone invited themselves in, and it's a little hard to carry on two conversations at the same time. Oh, darling, don't let me stop you. Go right ahead. Anyway, I just thought maybe tonight we could, uh... Right. Mm-hmm. You got it. Sure, I could bring... Uh, yeah, look, could I get back to you on this? Right. <laughs> me too. Bye. You got five minutes. Fine, that's all I need. I just want some answers. About? Well, I think it's a little strange, that's all. Mother's been here for three days, and she seems to be getting worse instead of better. Melanie, why are you talking to me? Why don't you talk to Dr. Chambers? After all, he's handling her case. Ah, uh, but I don't know Dr. Chambers. Well, that's funny. He knows all about you, all about us, all about our trip to the Bahamas last year. Lil told him all about it. What was it, another alimony payment?